Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with very interesting video today. We are going to solve very interesting question. This was asked in a probe interview. You can check it here. And I will tell you this is very interesting problem. You will love it. I will encourage you to try it yourself. Understand the problem statement. Take, create and insert from the description box. And then later you can come back and check my solution. Okay. I will try explaining it with this statement and then i will again explain and do the math on the sql server as well okay in case you don't understand here okay so if you have used probo app you can relate to it in that app you will get uh, multiple questions for each question you will have four options and you can choose one option if this if that uh, option is correct so you have to predict something in future if your question is correct then you have to you will win some money okay so let's understand so you have this table where you have user id poll id poll option id amount and created at right so this says user invest money on these different poll options so this is one poll op poll op option p1 there can be multiple polls right these entries are there in this table one of the option is the outcome of the event right so one of the option will be correct right and that will be the outcome of the event so let's take an example how many matches will the indian cricket team win in 2022 so there are four options so you had to predict this in 2021 or in the middle of 22 right and there are four options now once the 2022 ends they will see that 63 matches india won which means whoever has chosen option 3 they will be the winner okay so india wins 63 matches in the end option c is the winner so money invested in option a b d should be proportionately distributed amongst users who invested money in option c so so all the losers who did not say c who said a b or d their money will be distributed to all the winners winners means who opted option c right now in what proportion in the proportion that they have invested the money okay so i will explain this math using using sql server okay so let's move on to the sql server okay so this is this i have some data right let's focus on poll p1 so these are two tables these are the polls and this is the answer i have created another table where we have poll id and the correct option id right and this is my expected output so let's understand how we are coming here so let's focus on poll p1 so if you see in poll p1 these are the losers this guy this guy because option c is correct if you see so this guy is loser this guy is loser and this guy is loser and this guy is also loser so let's let's see how much is the money so this will be 200 200 400 500 900 900 and this is also winner so we don't have to consider this right this 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 and this right so 900 and 500 1400 and 100 1500 so total money that we need to distribute to the winners is 1500 now let's see how much money winners have invested so this guy id2 id2 has invested 250 right and then we have id5 he has invested 50 and then we have id7 he has invested 200 right so total money invested by winners is 500 250 plus 50 plus 200 right this is 500 now let's calculate the percentage so in the same percentage we need to distribute this money right so 250 divided by 500 will be 50 percent right 50 divided by 500 will be 10 percent and 200 divided by 500 will be 40 percent right now how much money id2 will get how much he will win so 50 percent of 50 hundred right this much money this guy will get which is 750 which is matching our expected output again id5 will get 10% of 1500 which is 150 again correct right now 40% of 1500 so this guy will get 600 okay so this is what is required and now we will solve this question okay so let's start what we will do is let me just take these two tables right and what i will do is i will just join these two tables first so i'll say select star from sorry polls p so that i have the right answer uh, uh, along with the other information in a join poll answer on p dot poll id right i'll just show you 
equal to let's call it PA equal to PA dot pole ID. Okay. So if I just run this, uh, let me just run this here. Okay. So if you see for each pole, for each pole, I have the all pole option ID and the correct option ID. Now what I will do first, I need to calculate this. So I will say where P dot pole option ID is not equal to not equal to PA dot correct option ID. Now what will happen? I am filtering on the losers, right? The losers have not chosen the right option. So this is the money for each pole that has to be redistributed, right? So I will say P dot pole ID comma sum of amount as amount to be distributed, right? Or redistributed, anything is fine, right? And group by poll ID. Group by poll ID. So if I just run this now, you will see 1500, right? That, that is what our calculation is also, right? So this amount has to be redistributed. I'll just say with CT1 as this. So this is my CT1. Okay. Now what we will do, we will again take this one, right? And now I will say equal to, which means this is now this, this data I need at poll, poll ID level, right? I don't care what individual users have invested for the losers, but this data I need at, I need at user ID level. So I'll just uh, keep it as it is. And I will say where this is equal to this and let me remove this as well. So if I just run this part, okay. So for poll ID P1, uh, we need user ID as well user id comma okay and if i just run this okay so poll id p1 this is the winner id2 and he invested 250 now what i need to find i need to say amount divided by total total amount invested by winners in poll id p1 which was in our case 500 for p1 right 500 so what i will do i will say here sum of amount over partition by p dot poll id as total winner investment investment right so if i just run this now okay we need to do group by no uh, no no group by this is we are using using window functions right so it is fine okay so if you see total is 500 that is what is there for us right 500 now i need to find that ratio right so i will say 250 divided by 500 50 divided by 500 200 divided by 500 so i'll just say divide amount by this right and i'll just if i just run this there will be one issue that it will be zero because integer divided by integer is zero so i'll just multiply it by 1.0 to make it a decimal number okay so we got see 50 percent 10 percent 40 percent right so if you see here, 50%, 10%, 40%. So this we got it right. So I will say it has proportion, proportion, right? Now, all we need to do is let's create another CT, CT2 as this. I will say select from CT2, right? Inner join CT1 on ct2 dot poll id equal to ct1 dot poll id right so let me just run this and show you select star so if i just run this now you will see amount to be distributed is 1500 right for poll p1 this we got from the first ct that this amount has to be distributed we also have the proportion that this much has to be distributed I mean, in this proportion, this has to be uh, distributed. So we just need to multiply this with this, right? So let me do that as a last step. So I will say select star comma proportion, right? Uh, this is coming from uh, CT2, CT2 dot proportion. Or oh, let me just copy paste it in case there is some error. Multiply by CT2 
dot ct2 dot okay it is ct2 my bad ct2 dot promotion multiplied by ct1 dot amount to be distributed right as winning winner winning amount right this is the amount they have won so if i just run this now You see, we got 750, 150, 600, and that is what we saw here as well. Okay, so if you see, 50% uh, of 1500 is 750, 10% of 1500 is 150, and 40% of 1500 is 600. Similarly, you can check P2. This will also work, right? So it, it it doesn't depend on poll. We have written a query in a way that it will work for number of polls, right? I hope this makes sense. If you think you have a better solution or an easier solution or more intuitive solution, let me know in the comment section. I will check it out. Thanks for watching. Do like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.